Hello friends, 860 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. The chance for a peace treaty between these two warring countries does not exist at this moment. In southern war zone on Kharso front, no changes. Zaporizhia front towards Urikho sector, positional battles on. In Rimivka salient, Ukrainians carried out counter-attack but was repelled by the Russians and in turn they advanced north of Staromyorsky. Coming to east on Marinka front, Russian army advanced towards Konstantinovka. A small tactical gains from Paraskovivka direction took place while Russians also advancing towards Vudyane Solodke direction. Towards Volodymyr Rivka area, Russians are not able to advance further as Ukrainians claim. The situation has stabilized to some extent with losses to the Ukrainians. Towards Georgievka direction, Ukrainians carried out counter-attacks with advantage of UAVs. However, no big changes. Nevelsky again, no changes. As far as Krasnogorivka is concerned, fight is on. With the long range artillery, Russians manage some hundred meters of gain. Of Divka front, after full control over Yasno Bro Divka, Russian army advanced west of Sokol Reservoir. It is developing offensive towards Yevze Nofka direction, heavy fight continuing. It advanced towards Voz Vizenka direction, 200 meters, and also towards. No Alexandrovka ahead of it, approximately 200 meters. Torsky Kirov direction, Russians advanced 200 meters in Druzba. Coming to Bakhmut Chasivyar, Russian army had tactical gains on the eastern outskirts of Chasivyar on the all fronts from north to south. It advanced on the southern edge of Grigorovka in far northeast of Chasivya. Further, it advanced from north of Kalinovka as well as southwest of Canal Micro District and towards Uriko Vasilivka. Here the front line on Bakhmut Chasivya where active hostilities continuing has increased quite a lot. Northeast Ukraine in Swato direction, Russian army advanced towards Stelmakhoka and entered into Ruzovka in Burovaya sector. Russian Defense Ministry claims that its army has captured Stepovaya, Novosilka in Kharkov as well as Novopokroskoe in DPR direction. North of Kharkiv that is Slobozansky direction, heavy fight continuing in Volchansk and towards Glubokoe direction. No changes. Interdiction missions. Ukrainians launched more than three dozens of UAVs. Most of them were shot down by Russian army over Bryansk, Kursk, Belgorod and Ukrainians also launched missiles towards Crimea direction. Russians have launched many precision strikes and one of them is the airfield in Mihrod in Poltava destroying six Sukhois 27s. Palestine Israel Middle East IDF ground operation continues in Al Zadaza and Tel Al Hawa. Palestinians resistance is continuing in form of guerrilla warfare. In southern Gaza, Hamas carried out an ambush in Rafah, killing one IDF troop and injuring eight of them. As far as West Bank is concerned, the raids by Israeli security is continuing and similar is the situation on Lebanon border. No changes except exchange of rockets, UAVs, and other forms of shelling each other. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban is likely to visit Kiev today. 
let us see what is the outcome he is going to become president of european union finland parliament has approved 15 military bases for the us military where are the sovereignties of these small countries massive protest taking place in israel jerusalem seems to be burning after orthodox jews fight back new conscription law approved by supreme court these heredin youths jews do not want to join the patriotic war if i call so biden has said no one is above law not even president of usa but today's supreme court decision on presidential immunity has changed fundamentally for all practical purposes a dangerous precedent but is this something new except that it is approved by supreme court of the usa isn't it happening in us for its own people and for the rest of the global citizens france has changed and will be changing even more after the national rally led by le pen has secured approximately 34% of total votes as far as new popular front is concerned which includes leftist coalitions has secured 28% while that of macron party is reduced to third one with 20% of the votes do the french people really think that macron is different than these right wing parties whatever you name them extreme right right center etc similar thing has happened in germany that alternative for german party has secured a huge percentage of the votes and similar was the situation as far as the european union's parliament is concerned is that not happening in india argentina and many other countries even if the centrist win the fertile land to move further rightward has not been dried up they are not being reduced because the so called left is no more revolutionary at this given moment let us brace up for the worse situation but nonetheless must resist against this not to bring back the old so called good times but to move forward to eliminate the present political economic social situation to bring entirely a new one and that's all for the day today friends see you tomorrow thank you